So friends, this video, uh, I will be installing the uh, TWRP on my uh, Redmi Note uh, 12 4G. So here I am currently in the uh, setup screen. So as you can see, I didn't do full setup because I may have to uh, format the data. So for that reason, what I'm going to do is I will be uh, flashing it uh, through here. I have the link uh, with me. So uh, this is the link. You can download it from the XDA forum also you can uh, uh, download it uh, through here. You are, here also you have the option to download the TWR. If you don't know means well uh, you can just uh, search it will be automatically coming okay so here also you have the uh, twrp which you can uh, download i will download this so by the time it is happening uh, let me just uh, uh, boot it to uh, fast boot so uh, basically i have to remove this i will put uh, volume down and power so now it is in fast boot connected so here i have to use the uh, adb fast boot tool so so here I have this tool. So this tool also I will leave the link in the description. So this is called the platform tool from Android. So uh, here you have to open this particular folder and you have to click here and click a CMD. CMD. So the CMD will be uh, opening in this uh, particular folder. So whatever comments you are giving ADB or fastboot, it will be working through here. So I will be typing fastboot uh, devices. As you can see, my device is detected in fastboot, so all the drivers are installed correctly. So if you if your device is not coming here, maybe there's a driver driver issue. You can do Google search, or I have made a video about uh, how to install the driver and check whether it is properly connected or not. For example, uh, if the device is properly connected here in the device manager, your device will be showing it as in the bootloader interface. So that is there. For some people, ADB will work, but uh, fastboot won't work. Maybe it's a driver issue. So yeah, I have uh, this one fast boot uh, devices I have uh, connected. So now what I have to do is I have to flash this uh, TWRP. So here I have the TWRP, I have downloaded it as well. So here I have it, I will use this one only, no issues. Uh, what I am going to do is I will try to do uh, fast boot. Uh, flash we are going to flash the uh, recovery so i will use a uh, fast boot flash and then uh, recovery so we are going to flash the recovery and then i will be drag and drop this iso file okay you have to extract the zip and it should be ios uh, sorry uh, img file okay iso file so i will be clicking install because don't do boot uh, fast boot boot because mui just uh, mix up with the things so fast boot flash uh, recovery and then you have to drag and drop that particular recovery so now we have installed this one so what i have to do now fast boot reboot and then recovery okay so now it should boot to twrp that is important so we have booted into twrp so we'll check whether uh, all our storages are decrypted properly yes storage also in the decryption state so uh, that's how we you have to install uh, the twrp so for now i will just remove this to check whether it is actually installed or not for that i will click reboot and power off okay now it is powered off so to boot into uh, recovery directly okay i have clicked the system right isn't it Note 12 4G. I'll power off. Okay. So now I'll use volume up and power for to boot into TWRP. Okay. I pressed it. So now we have uh, successfully booted to TWRP. So I believe we have uh, successfully installed the TWRP. Also, if I reboot, here you can see one cool stuff which is uh, slot uh, A and slot B. So currently our MIUI is installed in slot B. So uh, if you want to know more about slot A and uh, B and uh, what I would say this uh, seamless uh, updates, uh, how Android updates the OSS uh, in the background. Uh, well, uh, you can watch, uh, I've, I've made a dedicated video explaining this process. So. Uh, but uh, long story short, if your uh, current partition is something, 
and you are installing the custom ROM, the custom ROM will be installing in your inactive partition. Okay, in the first reboot, it will switch the partition to inactive partition and it will boot the custom ROM. It won't uh, touch the uh, what I would say active uh, partition, active slot. That is only for custom ROM if they wrote the logic like that. If you are using uh, something like uh, what? Uh, any port ROM or something, port ROMs usually install in active partition only, that time that uh, switching and all won't happen. So, this they did it to make the updates more seamless. Whenever you are using the device, in another slot, all the new updates will uh, get installed. And once you reboot the device, it will switch the partition and you will use the updated version of the OS in the different slot. All your data will be uh, safe only, no issues. So now I will reboot to system and I will set up all my uh, device and we'll meet you in the next good video. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.